All right, today we are going to talk about how easy to get title registration for the boat, motor, and trailer in Texas. And, well, folks, it's not simple like it used to be anymore. So, there's some guy out there making a videos about, you know, buying a boat with no title, and, you know, he make it clear, you know, that it's, it's not simple and easy anymore. Well, in this case, I'm talking about I bought this boat with the title, but the motor is not title. This is where all the complications come in form. Now, it used to be you can just go down there and if you don't want to register your motor, you might get away with it. But now they will not let me register the boat, transfer the title of the boat without the motor being registered as well. So I went down there to the tax office and this is what they told me that I need to do. So I told them, well, just go ahead and register the boats and I already have a title from the owner that signed up to me. And then I can deal with the motor later, maybe put another motor on where they say, well, until I put the new motors on and I can go down there and apply for it, you know. But right now they just, you know, they have to do all the process all at once. Well, let's talking about the application that you you got to do now. So let's start with the bill of sale. Well, this is the bill of sale that we just had to redo because they denied the first bill of sale that just the simple bill of sale that's saying, you know, me so and so sell boat, motor, and trailer to John Doe's for the total price of just say a uh, hundred and fifty dollar well they told me that I had to come back to the seller and get a detailed bill of sale you clearly say right here you have to break it down to three parts the boat the motor and the trailer and you have to put the details in there is the boat serial number model number year the motor is the same thing you know serial number model number and the trailer, you know, how much is weight and what year, what model, you know, so on. And break it down to the total price, just say $150, just say, so now you have to do $50 for the boat, $50 for the motor, and $50 for the trailer. Okay. Now, and then you make sure you got this form, they call, you know, the Vessel Boat Application uh, PWD-143 which is actually is for the boat title transfer and make sure that your seller signed that after sign right there you say the owner signature fill out all you can and make sure he signed it okay now that's for the boat title now come and then if your trailer have a registered tax already one like this already under the previous owner name and then you had to get this application you know for title and registration okay that's for the trailer and make sure you fill everything out if, if if that person don't have time for it you fill everything out and make sure they sign it right there okay the signature right there and now come to the motor part. It's getting very complicated. Now this motor that I have will not register. And that's a good thing. If the motor have never been registered in the state of Texas, and there's a very good chance that you get the motor to title and register. Now if the motor's been registered in the state of Texas, you're going to have to track down the original owner of that motor. Now, if it going through four or five different owner, previous owner before you, and that had to go to each one of the owner 
doing the title transfer if they even file the title and the, the first owner had to transfer it to the one that sell before and then the one after and after after until it get to you so that process can be is almost impossible so if you find a motor that people say no title I not discourage you not to buy it but get the serial number of that motor and the and the model number and go into uh, Texas Port and Wildlife website and search for that serial number of that motor if that motor have not been registered then only a few paperwork that you got to do and we will go to that detail in a little bit but you got a good chance to get that motor registered and title all right so in my case it will not register in state of texas now it could have been registered somewhere else, you know in florida or, or some other state but as long as it's not registered in state of texas then you got a good chance to get this title now you also have to check that serial number on the uh, on the stolen database album motor stolen database you know you can go on google and search there's a bunch of them out there i went through so many of them sitting there and scrolled down to like 20 30 pages of every whatever making model you have and they have a database of list and check every serial number is being stolen and if it's not been stolen there's also the good chance that you know you will get it to title now to do that you have to have this form right here it's called album motor application PWD 144 okay PWD 144 fill everything out you know about a motor which is you know the serial number you know uh, so and so and so all right and how many horsepower year will bills and you know all that stuff and after and have the owner the seller size signature print name and you know right there all right so after that you have to get another form called affidavit of fact it's a PWD 314 this is for the motor and it has two parts one of them for boat information which is if the boat already have the title uh, site over to you then don't worry about it just go into the motor check on the motor information and you enter the motor serial numbers and years and so and so and then this is the part that the seller had to fill it out to explain the situation why he not or she not registered that motor so you can say he can say that he or you bought from somebody else and somebody didn't tell you nothing about it. you know you had to register for the motor so you didn't know nothing about it and whatever that you need to tell them that why you not register for that motor now and then make sure you know put the name sign and all the information they need to you know from the seller and now uh, after that you have to go get another form called verification of vessel and and album motor serial number this is a this is a form right here called pwd 504 what this form telling you that now you acquire this motor and you you find out that this motor have never been registered so you go ahead and really applying for you know this motor to be titled and registered so it's in here they explain to you that if you can't see the serial numbers or it's been fade up or whatever it is this is a little section right here they say you can put try to put the pencil and chasing the serial number you know on on that motor or uh, if it's visible you just check it right here say the attachment photo take a picture of it which is right here 
you know, open up the, I mean, open up the cowling of the motor and then take a picture or find one right where the tail and trim is and take a picture of it and then print it out along with this application right here, 504 and uh, PWD 314 and PWD 144. So you got one, two, three form that you gotta do and then the serial number and the model, the model number for your motor. And make sure all this form of fill it out, detail as you can, explain why that motor is not being registered by the seller. The seller had to describe that and and, and signature, sign, and you know, date and all that. And now you're good to go. But like I say, we were out in the water and we got pulled over and uh, the sticker tax on the boat is still good for another eight eight months under this previous owner. But he gave us the title, so we brought everything with us on the boat, you know, over the weekend. And thinking about, okay, well, you know, uh, today we're gonna do all the title transfer and all that stuff because we got like 45 days, so you know, from the purchase, uh, we got pulled over and takes his part in wildlife check the boat vessel, I give him a boat card from the previous owner, title and all that stuff. He don't have a problem with that. He have a problem with the motors not being registered. And I guess they can pull up by serial number or Vince number or whatever it is. So he told me if that motor, if he ever see that motor out in the water again without a registration or title to that motor, he, was, he will write me a ticket and he will com confiscate that motor. Now I don't know is anybody out there have been the motor being you know seized or complicated com confiscated or uh, you know I don't have any evidence of anybody have been you know through that but this is the warning that he gave us so I just want to pass it on. This is a public announcement that, you know, I have five boats in the past 20 years and I never, never have to go through the hoop just to get registered. And it's just getting very ridiculous. But this is what happening right now. And, you know, the fact here is I'm lucky that I be able to do all this at the courthouse where I live. I don't have to go down to, you know, Texas Park and Wildlife because right now with the COVID-19, they only take appointment only. So imagine you have to drive an hour to get to that location by the appointment. It's, right now they say it's about three to four weeks, you know, like in advance. Just saying you go down there and you have none of this paperwork properly filled out. They're gonna send you right back and now you got to go track the seller and get them to do all the proper paperwork or whatever need to be done now if that person willing to you know go extra mile after he sold you boats and trailers already got your money and he don't want nothing to do with you anymore and you basically really SOL so make sure when you go buy a boat, you get all this application with you. Have the seller fill out everything that needs to be filled out. And then sign, date, make sure. Because you do not want to go make appointment to go down there, you know, to Texas Park and Wildlife. And then they tell you you need something else. So, and then now you got to call and reschedule for another appointment which is might take another three to four weeks or longer we don't know that but what i'm saying here is the guy out you know a few years ago make a video about you know buying a boat with no title and all that stuff and he wasn't kidding 
And this boat I bought actually have title. He have a title, sign it over to me. And they still give me a lot of problem that I still need the bill of sale gotta be correct. You can't just say, hey, you know, I sold this and that, that. No, you have to, they have to break them down to three separate, you know, items, like boat, motor, and trailers. Detail everything that you can or he can, or you know, on that receipt. So, that's just the information I, you know, like I say, I own the boat five boat in the past 20 years. This is the most complicated and headache that I'm going through right now. So hopefully everything work out and I will update your guy how everything work out, you know. I'm gonna go to the courthouse now and turn all this paper back in. That's what they asked me to do and see what happened. So once again, be careful anything say no title boat motor well the trailer you might get away with it but if you don't have one of this for the trailer if he never registered and then the lady told me that they have to actually send me to a DMV and I had to go there and do a trailer registration you know uh, if it's under 2,000 pounds, then I had to take a picture of, uh, I don't know how many pictures they want, every corner, every U-boat or wheel and tire, uh, so they can uh, be registered. Now, if you have one of this, and then basically you just have to fill out this application and go ahead and get the trailer, you know, transfer under to your name. So this is all the information I have so far and I will update y'all about how it's going but uh, this is just a nightmare alright y'all gotta have a good day